See this? This is my favorite place. You come all this way just to watch trains? I don't just watch them. I make them angry as well. Oh, how? All right. The moment that train draws near, we're going to jump onto the tracks. And don't then... move. Stand in the middle to make it mad. It'll poof smoke and make a toot toot sound. <laughs> but see, the more it bellows, the firmer we stand. It gets angry if you don't budge. We have to time things just right. When the train gets close, we jump back, okay? <laughs> Look, the train is approaching. Hey! Hey, train! Hey, look, we're over here! We're over here! Come on over! Xiao Xia, are you scared? In the beginning, we were birds that soared free. Fly away! Fly to the glorious mountains beyond the dark clouds! Fly on that place, to that turquoise cave! Only the wind is dancing with joy, accompanied by me! It's coming! Xiao Xia, it's time to go! Xiao Ping, you must remember this all over the world! Come on! Are you all right? Aren't you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Shausha, you know what? I often feel like I could be someone sitting on that train. Without a care for where it's next stop, maybe. One day, Shausha, I shall board that train. And then I shall go wherever it takes me. Sen Xiaoping could have very easily settled for ordinary. However, he would not settle for mediocrity. In a few days, something rather unexpected would come to pass in the life of our dear Xiaoping. The school was tasked to put together a cultural affairs propaganda team. This team would need to go on tour in various communities, with both propaganda and performance as its agenda. Sen Xiaoping? Look at me, I am the real young Siro! <laughs> I shall show you! Xiao Xia, you're a better Yang Zirong than Xiao Baige. How about you play that part when it's time to perform? Oh, that won't do. You'd have me put a mustache and act as Yang Zero while Sun Xiaoping sports braids and play Xiao Bei. Sun <laughs> 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 Xiaoping, here, you're the real Yang Zero. <laughs> All right, the afternoon variety show is ended. Hurry and eat. <laughs> oh. Xiaoping, go and eat. Your attention, your attention, attention, everyone. The county propaganda department called. They've informed the school that there will be a regional reading out session of revolutionary stories. That being said, the county has decided Sen Xiaoping and Tian Xiaosha will represent Wanxi County at Wang Yu Wan for this. It's an honor for our propaganda team. A round of applause, everyone. Wow, that's so good. Good job, Xiaoping. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And you should thank me. I should thank you for what? I told you before, you are different. Now you're going to stand out even more. Well, the clothes I'm wearing are certainly different from theirs. I'm not talking about this. In that case, maybe I should thank you. <laughs> when I purchase a meal in the school now, it will still be the same. It will be meal C and the black steamed bun. But I won't have to hide anymore. I'll eat my meal C and black steamed bun out in the open for all to see. Yes, now that's the Sun Xiaoping I know. Thank <laughs> you.
Uh, coming comrades! The annual Red Date Festival is upon us once more. On behalf of the Shangshui Village Party Branch, I now declare the orchard open. Harvest! The Red Dates! Let the festivities begin! <laughs> yourselves to some dates. Probably. You're only allowed to eat them. I won't have any of you taking some home. Do you hear me? I hope I'm making myself clear. Come on. Careful of the ones under your feet. Pick up the dates under your feet. Here you go. Hey there. How's it going? Hit it properly. Watch out. And you? These are sweet. You change. Yes? Your relative Shawan has found a pretty wife. Why aren't they here? They'll be here soon enough. Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> and pigs can fly. Who would have guessed? What a surprise Shawan went to town just to find himself a wife. Didn't he say he was off to find some good seat? My Hymen hid this from me. <laughs> he's gone for a month. Then what do you know? Now he's returned with a wife in tow. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> a nice young man like him. Finding a wife should be simple. What I really don't understand is why he has to marry a relative of Feng Yin. Is Shawan marrying this woman a good thing or a bad thing? What do you think? Well, of course it's a good thing. But why do you say that? Why do you ask? You see that woman Shawan married? She didn't ask him for any betrothal gift. No? Yes. Is that right? Yes, that's so right. Uncle Yutian, maybe you can help me find a wife too. <laughs> sure, no problem. Just make sure you do your job, okay? Hey, is it true that his wife didn't ask for a betrothal gift? Sure it is. Now, why do good things always happen to your family? <laughs> now do a good job. <laughs> Pick them all up and do it properly. Uh, uh, uncle. Uh, I came up with a good excuse to go to the sense to have a look at her. That girl and Feng Yen look completely different. Other than her face not being as fair as Feng Yen's, she has nice even features. Dark brows, bright eyes, and white teeth. Not to mention... Uh, well, I don't believe it. Uh, Are her breasts as large as this? Huh? Is her bottom a brown? <laughs> Sit down. Oh, did you, see you have that? no shame. Oh, goodness. Let me tell you. What I didn't expect was that this girl, after arriving at Shawan's family's dilapidated cave house, she didn't seem to mind at all. She made everyone in the Sun family very happy. They're all smiling from ear to ear. Oh. And why isn't that wife of Shawan here today? Hey, Uncle Tian, why don't you sing us a song? Huh? See, the young know. ladies in the village love your singing. Once he starts singing, Shawan and his, what's the young lady's name? Oh, Shou Lian. Shou Lian. He Shou and Shou Lian will come to listen to you. Hey, yes. you should sing. What do you say? He sings a dirty song. Oh, yes. how about it? <laughs> Let's hold hands yes. and sing. Right. Sing. Well, Ed, you asked me for a dirty song, so I'm going to sing one just for you. <laughs> yes, I'll start this song by calling Swan Sister Chang Guilan Hey. <laughs> you want a dirty song? I'll give you one of Swan Sister Hey. Swan Sister Hey. Look so Yes, put them there. That's it. That's it. There's more over there. Keep up. Keep at it. Oh, I want you to meet my fiance. Hey, listen up, everyone. Shawan's finally come and brought his wife. Hey, stop shouting. Mother, they're here. Shawan has brought his wife with him. Really? Where are they? Come over there. I want to see them. Come on. Let's go. Hey, yeah, she's not my wife yet. We still have to register. Come on. Come on. Second younger uncle, Fu Gao. Hey, Fu Gao. Come on, Jack. Sin Fu. What about me? Right. I say, Shao An, before, when you were the leader of Team One, you used to be at the fields at dawn. But now, look. It's late morning, and you've only just left that cave of yours. <laughs> so tell us, what were you doing holed up in there? All you did was get married, but see how exhausted you are. <laughs> oh, what are you saying, Uncle Wan Yu? I told you that we two haven't even registered yet, and so I wouldn't dare call her my wife. Oh. Uncle, if you talk rubbish again, I'm stuffing your brain inside your pants so you can have a look at your melon. <laughs> Tell me, 
me something. Why do you poke fun at me? Look, Shaw has brought his wife back. Why not make fun of him instead? Hey, hey, don't you dare! No, no! Hey, hey, hey! Stop it! Hey, hey! Don't you dare Stop it! Hey, all these women and children, where is your decency? You turned the Red Day Festival into Shawan's wedding horseplay. It's disgraceful. Shawan, so have you? Uh, slept together yet? What? what? <laughs> Didn't I just say that we aren't registered yet? What are you thinking, huh? Oh, sure, whatever you say. Shulian, <laughs> men love to talk about nonsense sometimes, but don't mind them. Come on, come on, help us gather the dates. Don't eat too many or your stomachs will hurt. All right, come on, let's it's go. It's about time you came back. There. We were just waiting for you to He's celebrate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're here, Shawan. Sister Siolian, isn't the Red Date Festival so much fun? Did you have a good time? Yes, it's exciting. Everyone was so energetic. Who's that there? It's Sister Siolian. Siolian? Who's that? Grandma. She's the sister-in-law elder brother brought home. Mister-in-law? Uh, <laughs> you are. Who is this sister-in-law? Uh, well then, mother. Father. Oh. Uh, let me help you sweep. No, no, let me do it. You're likely tired from harvesting. I wouldn't ask you to work. No. Uh, Lan Cheng, Lan Cheng, go prepare. All you. right, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, no. I couldn't let you work. Now you should Sister rest. Sister-in-law, there's right? no more firewood. I'll go get some. Uh, Father, Cerulean yes. didn't grow up pampered. <laughs> go let her do the work. It's fine. Shawan, the girl you brought home with you is very pretty. <laughs> See? Your grandma's still sharp. She can still see things, and she cares. <laughs> Shawan, we can't let her work. Go help her, would you? It's all right, Father. Just let her be. This young lady of yours is good. <laughs> you aren't registered. But she's been calling me Father since you arrived. I don't even know whether to answer when she calls or father, not. Oh. there's no more firewood. I wanted to chop some, but I can't find the axe. The axe, yes, yes. Oh, uh, let me go get it for you, all right? Uh, Ranya, come here. Come here. Ranya, come. Did you bring me any snacks today? Huh? Grandmother. Why didn't Runya bring me any snacks to do? This is Shulian. Shulian, huh? Oh, Shulian. <laughs> Aunt Ayun? Oh, Runya, you're back. Auntie. Just as well. Come and talk to your Aunt Lou. Come. I'll leave you be. Please sit down. Sit, Miss Tin. Miss Tin, if you're having a hard time or are in need of help, please feel free to tell us, all right? There are a few things I wanted to discuss. Auntie, I'm not having a hard time, nor do I need any help. You and Aunt Ayun have spoken to me a few times. I know what you want to say. I already do. Miss Tian, why don't you just tell me the truth? Are you utterly repulsed by Sheng Xian and my family? Is it because of the things we've done? I don't think... You don't hate us now, do you? Not at all, Auntie. I do know that your family is sincere, and you've all been good to me. <sighs> if it was any other thing, I would have already agreed to it. But this is quite different. After all, it concerns giving myself completely to someone I cannot accept. I understand. I hear that you... you have a, a sweetheart. Is he a production team leader at Shuangshui Village? Sun Shawan? So you know about it? So I wasn't far off the mark. Oh, well, I... 
I think I... I ought to speak to your uncle. Auntie... Auntie, actually, I've been wanting to talk to Uncle Fuja for a while now. But from what I gather, things haven't been going well for him. At work, anyway. And he's rather vexed. That's why I didn't want to distract him. You did well not to. Your uncle is going through a lot right now. You know all about the Criticize Water Margin campaign, and they're criticizing people like your uncle. If the two of you are going to get married, then our families will be as one. Shang Xian's father would then be able to help your uncle, and his situation would be far less dire. Shang Xian's father and that uncle of yours are both deputy directors of the County Revolutionary Committee. Oh yes, but you know this. We also intend to speak with your parents. Auntie, although my father is a branch secretary, he's still in fact nothing but a simple peasant. That much is undeniable. Also, as for my mother, she is a true blue peasant housewife. As far as this matter is concerned, well, I, I really don't think you all get much help from them. <laughs> Two days ago, your father called your Aunt Ayun, and he asked that she and I arrange your marriage to Shang Xian without delay. Your father said, no courtship. They should be married at once. Nonetheless, I asked whether to give you time, but he said no need and that it be settled this week. So, Miss Chan, you tell me, should I speak with your father and tell him that you are unwilling? Auntie, whatever the case is, only I can decide for my life. Father can say what he likes. Oh, yes, of course. Nonetheless, you are still a woman. So let me ask you this. How much power do you have? How confident are you? I have to try to be master of my own destiny. say anything more then. Shang Xian, such a stubborn child. He has already threatened us with suicide at that. He attempted suicide? I'm not trying to frighten you, but he went to your school to look for you several times. He said you were cold towards him, and that you even avoided him. <sighs> Shang Xian is not stupid, but still, he's painted himself into a corner where his feelings for you are concerned, which forces his father and me to think of other ways. He's even used a razor to slit his wrists. Of course we were worried when we saw this, so we decided to seek out your Aunt Ayun. We asked if she might speak with you. We sincerely hope that you'll consent to marrying him. He tried to kill himself. A funny thing life is. Why has life placed her in such a predicament? Without Li Shangxian in the picture, she most certainly would have remained as she had always been, secure and busy, diligently working without care for much else. Her soul would be as peaceful as a tranquil lake. She'd have been pleased with the state of being. However, a stone had been cast to break the placid waters of that lake. What was most unfortunate was that the impact of this rigid stone that was Li Shangxian had released the impulsive nature of her passionate feelings and love for another man. However, when she threw her stone into the heart of that very same person, not a ripple was to be seen. Sadly, the lake remained placid. Oh, he's really kind. Shang Xian? Yes? You're so skilled, maybe you can help us too. Sure, I can help. Yes. By the way, don't call me Shen Xian. Well, Brother-in-law, that's better. Oh, Brother-in-law, <laughs> that's better. Really. Brother-in-law, are you tired? We're going, Brother-in-law. Huh? Want some water? Sure. Here. <laughs> I'll rest a while. Thank you. Oh, Miss Tian, you're back. Miss Tian, oh, we are all yeah. praising your intended. Look how capable he is. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. Renya, uh, it might be summer and winter's a long time off, but I got the cold you needed for winter ready. Yes, he has. That's right. Actually, he must be very tired. Well, yeah. What happened? Where are you going? Where is she going? To look for Brother Shawan. Juliet. Oh, dear. You scared me. 
stop that. Come, sit. You've been keeping grandmother company at home. You're not bored? Not at all. Grandmother is kind, and I like talking to her. What do you two talk about? We talk of many things. And we... We've talked about Runya too. Runya is better than me. <sighs> Grandmother is very old. Don't pay attention to her ramblings. <laughs> Shaowan, I'd like to buy snacks for Grandmother, just like Runya does. When I left Shaanxi, my father gave me some money. Oh, your father's letter arrived today. He asked how you were doing here. He also asked when you'd be home. Don't send me away. Are you bothered that I eat at your home all for free? You know if you want, I can go to the hills with you tomorrow and I'll work with you. What are you thinking, huh? When you left, didn't you tell your father you'd be staying four to five days here? I'm concerned that if you stay too long, they might start worrying. If you're driving me away again, it means in your heart you don't think I measure up to Runya. Oh, Xiulian. I'm going to make this clear to you. I do not want to hear you mention Runya's name ever again. Is that clear? I don't want to leave you. <sighs> Go home first. Huh? I'll bring you back here on the Spring Festival, okay? Let me stay at least a few more days. Just a few more days. All right, then. If you're staying, you'll have to write. Tell them you'll be staying a while longer. But I'm concerned that your father might start worrying. <laughs> Chao Wan. I'm very happy. What are you happy about? That I'll be staying with you for a few more days. Maudan, Maudan, quickly, hurry! Father. Oh, Lanwa. Yes. Why have you come? Shao Wan and Shao Lian said they were off to Guanzi Go to see you. I couldn't wait, so I decided to come. Maudan, play with Gudan over there. Go. All right. What brings you here? What? Are you worried about the cost of the wedding? <sighs> yes. Although her family said they didn't want a gift, we should still purchase some new clothes for Xiao Lian. Make new bedding and a sheepskin cloak for her father. Xiao Wan shouldn't be wearing old clothes for his wedding either. These things will all cost at least 30 to 50 yuan. When your brother Utian was married, we managed to pull through. Despite the difficult situation, I resignedly gritted my teeth and managed to make his wedding lively and dignified. It all worked out. How could we possibly deprive Shawan of the same privilege? Lanwa. Yes? I need your help in calculating. Will there be a banquet? Yes. Then that would satisfy the 100 yuan, give or take. Kill the pig. Kill the pig and we eat its meat too. But then we also won't have to buy pork for the banquet. Then again, it also means that there won't be any meat for us to sell this year anyway. As far as grain is concerned, we'll have to think and come up with other ideas. The coarse grain we have won't do. What we need is cash. From whom can we borrow? There are a uh, few with money to spare. That wife of Hymin, Yingwa doesn't even lend money to her own father-in-law, so it's unlikely she'll lend to us. Twin Wu should have some. He always had a pretty good relationship with Xiao Wan, but he's still from Qin Chao Wan, which makes it difficult. We can't ask Fu Tang either. 
I suppose we can't borrow from Muna either. That's right. Sadly, we have failed with Srunya. There's the matter of housing, too. We can't leave brother and sister-in-law without a place to live when they marry. Right. Once they're married, they can't stay in that old cave of his. But then, that also means looking for a new place. We don't have much time. It'll be during the spring festival, and the land is still frozen. You don't know how worried sick I am. I refuse to use that! It's your new house! Ah, but I don't need it. That cave house of yours is empty anyway. For crying out loud, you can be really... I'm so mad I'm leaving! Hey, hey, just move! We aren't done Shawan. here yet! Shawan. I won't take it! Show on! <laughs> what are you two doing here? Well, we are here to talk about your conjugal abode. <laughs> what abode? Uh, what? Oh, come on, you people! Speak up! Uh, Uncle Wan Chang and I both agreed we will empty the cave of Team One's breeding room, where the seeds are, and we will put the seeds in Uncle Wan Chang's cave. That way, you can still stay in the cave for a couple years. Then there's no problem. Oh, no, you won't. That place is public property. What are you even thinking? But it's not a big deal. I told you, we agreed on it. Hey, Shawan, what's the big deal? Just take it. I'd love to have the two of you. <laughs> You'd be keeping me company. Otherwise, I'd be living all by myself. No one would ever know if I was eaten by a wolf. No way! What? What does he mean? You don't even know what we're talking about and you say no? This is Team One's business! Who are you to say no? I'll have you know! My cave house is big! Shawan already said yes to he me! He should live within Team One boundaries! Hey, so what enough. if it's spacious? Hey, what is it to you? What? I'm okay. telling you, hey, don't relax. bother! Hey, 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 no stop it! Break it up! What's enough with you? That. We don't enough. have to fight enough. over enough. this! Enough. Would you all it. stop quarreling? Let me speak. Let's ask Shawan's wife to choose. Let's see where she like to live, why don't we? You want me to choose? Hey, hey, Shawan. wait, wait, wait. Please don't give Xiao Lian a hard time. Fine. I truly appreciate your kind intentions. But wait till father gets back. Then maybe we can discuss again just where exactly my wife and I will be living. Shawan. One is the leader of Team 2 and the other deputy of Team 1. Why do they want to help so bad? It's because of what happened with the distribution of land for pig feed. I privately distributed additional land to commune members, but I was criticized by the commune. However, the team leaders themselves were quite grateful to me. Then this is a good thing. They have your best interests at heart. Hey, Shawan. What? You're back? Listen, I was just thinking. A house isn't enough. You will still need food. Come with me. We have to discuss this. Listen closely. My brother, Brother Jun Shan, is here. But don't say a word. Let me do the talking. What do you mean? Just come along. Come with me. Come on. What are you going to I'm tell him? To. Just tell me. Why won't you tell come me? Come here, you two. Come along. What's going on? Both of you stand huh? here. Stand still. Stand still and what don't is with move, you? all right? Uh, Brother Junshan, do you have any grain to spare? Oh, so you want food. All right then, how much? It isn't for me. Shawan will be married come to Spring Festival, and he'll need some grain. Could you give him some? Uncle Junshan, you don't hey, have to- I said stand but, still! But... Stay there! Chuan Wu, <laughs> I already pondered the fact that Shawan wouldn't have enough food at home. You don't have to explain to me, you're pressuring me, all right? When Qian Fu Tang was going to arrange things for Shawan, and he was criticized by the commune, I should have stood up for him. Uncle Chun, Shawan, why are you quiet. saying this? Tell you what, take my grade. But when we bump into each other, I don't want you addressing me as Deputy Branch Secretary in public, and don't call me Uncle Jun Shan either. All right, do you mind if I say something? Shawan, they told you to be quiet. <laughs> oh, fine, spit it out. <laughs> I am very grateful. Oh. Director Bai! Hello. Uh, Xiao Lian. Hello. This is uh, our commune's Bai Ming Shuang. Director Bai, Xiao Lian. Hello, how are you? How do you do? Xiao Wan. Yes? Is this the fiance you brought back from Jiangxi? She is. <laughs> <laughs> Xiao Wan is a very important person. I'm a commune member and he kept me waiting. He also kept a leader of the Revolutionary Committee waiting too. Director Bai, I understand Uncle Fuja wants to see us. Where is he? He's waiting for you in the car. Go on, go talk in the car.
Uncle Fuja, come. Morning. Sean, I hear you're getting married, but I know nothing of it. What's going on? Treating your uncle like a stranger? Uncle, how could you even think such things? It's because we haven't set a date yet. Before we register, rest assured we will tell you when we finally have a date. <laughs> I can't enter the village. It might rouse suspicion. Oh. All these years, and I still haven't returned home. Shawan, how is the village these days? Still the same, I suppose. We're just trying desperately to carry on, but the harder we work, the worse life gets. I only wonder when the lives of farmers will get better. I'll tell you this, Uncle Fuja. If it carries on like this, the conditions at the village will only continue to worsen. And now they're using work point allocation. Do you know how many work diligently? But no matter how hard they work, they still end up having to share the grain and split the bonuses with those who cheat and play tricks. Clearly, they're being fooled. And we don't know what to do. You make a good point. The situation has to change sooner or later. Anyway, let's change the topic. Tell me about you and Xiaolian. I understand she's related to your second aunt? Yes, from my second aunt's <laughs> own clan. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice girl. Xiaolian, when do you wish to marry? What's wrong? Tongue-tied in front of a leader, are we? Well, we've discussed it with her family. We'll marry come the Spring Festival. Oh. Then you'll have to hold a wedding ceremony, huh? I saw your second younger uncle at a meeting today, and that's exactly what he said. That you should have a proper wedding. Your family must be rather worried right now. Your uncle won't ask, so I sought you out myself. Here you go. Take this, please. Ah! Hey, ah! what are you doing? Are you okay? Uh, Uncle Fujian, this is 100 yuan. I can't take your money. No, take it back. I really can't accept that. No, hey, Uncle why Fuzhan. not? It's 100 yuan. That is far too much an amount. Uncle Fujian, thank you, but no. Who said you can't accept, huh? Given the relationship between us, you could almost say we're family. What's wrong with helping each other out? What's more, I never said you had to pay me back. Take it. What is it? You don't want to get married? Huh? Are you going to let Xiao Lian suffer? I might not be a wealthy man, but I can afford to give 100 yuan away. I want you to use it. If it's short, I'll send some more. It's enough. It is. Good. Shawan, do not lose hope. When you two are married, you should have a good life. That business with the land for the pig feed? I saw what happened. You went under a lot of fire for that, but I know you meant well. Everyone in the village is very grateful to you. In fact, you've truly made a good name for yourself. I suspect that this Shuang Shui village will become your Shuang Shui village in the future. Right. Time to go. Have a good life. Thank you. So long. Goodbye. Hmm? Uncle? Hmm? Runya and Li Shengxian. Are they all right? Xiaowan, I don't feel good enough for you. What? People here all regard your business as their business. Even a senior leader of the county, like Uncle Fu Xia, gives you money. I'm afraid I'm not good enough for you. What are you going on about? In what way are you not good enough for me? I heard your talk with Uncle Fuja about Runya not having gotten with Shang Xian. Do you think she still holds you in her heart? Does she know you've brought me back to your home from Shaanxi? Hey! Where are we going? 
This is Uncle Fu Tang, branch secretary of the village, Runya's father. Uncle Fu Tang. Uh, uh, this is my fiancée, Xiao Lian. Uh, why don't I get you both No, no, it's fine. I brought my fiancé with me here so you could finally be happy and at ease. You don't have to worry about my relationship with Runya anymore. Li Xiangxian and Qian Runya will end up together. <coughs> Let's go. Show <coughs> on. <sighs> I'll be honest with you. You might find me strange for this, but I don't seem to feel happy about things I should be happy about. It's like I've... It's like I've lost something and... And I can't find it anymore. Let's go. Sneaking behind us, who is he? That's Uncle Yu Tiang. You met him at the Red Date Festival. But why is he following us? Why don't you ask him? Oh. Hey. Uncle, why are you following us? Uh, Tio Lian. Uh, what's the matter, Uncle? What is it, Uncle? <sighs> I'm missing a litter of flowers. What do you mean? All right, it's like this. According to the village custom, your aunt and I should be inviting you and Shou Lian over for a meal. But our family is poor in our summer wheat ration. It's been taken by your aunt to the Shigizhe Grain Supply Center to trade for national meal tickets. She said the commune informed her that she would be in the next batch to go to the Zhai. I mean, wow, to visit the Zhai, that's such an honor. We can't deprive her of this, yes, can we? Yes, yes, I understand, uncle. You're having a hard time with this. According to village custom, a second younger uncle, you ought to invite Xiao Lian to a meal. That's right. Otherwise, people in the village will gossip. Well then, I'll go home now and fetch a litter of flour to send over. Oh, great. I'll go get it now. Uh, hey, Xiao oh. Lian, don't. If you send it during the day, people will see and gossip about it, so it would be better to send it at night. At night? Fine, I'll send it at night then. Good. Yes, good. Thanks a lot. I'll get going then. Hey, take it easy! <laughs> yeah, my second younger uncle is such an impassioned revolutionary. I never would have guessed that he'd be observant of tradition. Hey, younger brother, Xiaoping, Xiu Alien. Hello. How do you do? Oh. Just shake his hand. How do you do? Look, you should go ahead. You should go inside first. You two are so different. How are we different? He shakes hands and says, how do you do? Just go inside. Fine. What's wrong? Brother, I respect the woman you brought home, because she likes you so much, she didn't demand a betrothal gift. For that reason alone, I respect her greatly. Do you want to know how Sister Ranya is? What's happened to her? When she found out you brought someone home, she fell ill. She's in the hospital now. How do you do? Thank you. My relationship with Runya is... Exactly as I've told you.
I already heard about what you just told me. <sighs> hey, I'm taking you to Wansi County tomorrow to find cloth for some new clothes for you. Runia has fallen ill. I should go and pay her a visit. You should. I am happy. The Shaoan I'm marrying is a man who values friendship. And brotherhood as well. If you didn't go, I'd question my judgment. Promise me something, though. I want you to promise me something as well. All right, you go first. No, please, go ahead. When you visit Runya tomorrow, will you take me with you? What did you want to ask me? The exact same thing. Oh, yeah.